Hello and welcome to Indian Drives. In this video, we tell you all about the recent launch from Royal Enfield, the Scram 411. The Scram 411 is based on the off-road adventure-bred Himalayan. In fact, it can also be called the Scrambler version of the Himalayan. It is architectured on the same chassis and even uses the same engine as the Himalayan to offer an urban adventure experience that is easy to ride within the city and can take on the beatings of a weekend off-road trail. Speaking of how the Scrambler looks, it definitely resembles the Himalayan owing to its similar body lines. The key difference that can be observed here between the two is the missing metal frame that surrounded the tank and the rest of the chassis of the Himalayan to offer a rugged look. Now to offer a more urban friendly look, you do not get those metal frames and the windscreen which were the distinctive design of the Himalayan. The Scram 411 comes with an interesting choice of colour options too. The colours are bright enough to appeal to the younger audience. The colour options are Skyline Blue, White Flame, Silver Spirit, Graphite Blue, Graphite Red, Graphite Yellow and Blazing Black. The main highlighting difference between the Himalayan and the Scram would be the reduced wheel size. The Scram 411 sits on a 19-inch front wheel instead of the off-road friendly 21-inch wheels that we saw on the Himalayan. This subtle change makes a whole lot of difference not in just the visuals but also in the riding dynamics of the motorcycle. The Scram 411 exhibits a much calmer and level stance as compared to the tall and aggressive Himalayan. With the reduced wheel size, the overall seat height of the bike has also been reduced by 5 mm, making it easier to ride in the cities, especially during traffic hours. The position of the handlebar has also been changed. The handlebar is now positioned 60 mm lower and 20 mm closer to the rider. This is to optimize the driving dynamics and make the urban rides comfortable as the handlebar is now easier to reach. Mechanically, the Scram 411 borrows the engine, brakes and suspension setup from the Himalayan. The engine used here is a single-cylinder, four-stroke, air-cooled, 411cc unit, which develops 24 horsepower and 32 newton meters of peak torque. This engine is paired to a five-speed constant mesh gearbox, which uses a wet multi-plate clutch system for efficient gear shifts. This engine is well-tuned to offer lots of low-end torque and a crisp mid-range of power. The high-speed cruising is not the strongest suit of this engine as it is primarily designed to offer low-end torque for urban rideability and off-roading. The front suspension is telescopic and they have a travel of 190mm whereas at the rear there is a monoshock setup with a linkage that has a travel of 180mm. The Scram 411 comes with a disc brake setup at both front and rear. At the front you get a 300mm disc with two piston floating calipers whereas at the rear there's a 240mm disc and single piston floating caliper. The braking setup also comes with the dual channel ABS, but one thing to highlight is that it cannot be turned off. Now this might be disappointing for a few riders who are looking to have some fun with a loose rear end. In terms of dimensions, the Scram has a wheelbase of 1411mm, a ground clearance of 200mm, the bike weighs 185kg and lastly, the fuel tank capacity is of 15 litres. The Scram 411 will rival the Yesti Scrambler and chances are if you're not much into bikes, you might not even be able to differentiate between the two when spotted on the roads. But the threat is pretty serious for the Scram 411 as the Scrambler offers a similar package to the buyers in the similar price range. The Scram 411 has been launched at an introductory price of Rs 2.03 lakhs, which is lesser than the Yesti Scrambler. So viewers, that's all the information on the Royal Enfield Scram 411. If you like our content, do like the video, please share this video with your like-minded friends and do let us know in the comment section what are your thoughts on the Royal Enfield Scram 411 and whether do you think is it any better than the ST Scrambler.